Alexander Kostyniuk is leading the FIDE Grand Prix, Women's Grand Prix in Munich with seven points. With just two rounds to go, Korneru Humbi is the only person, only player with a realistic chance of challenging Kostyniuk. Humbi is on six points. And guess what? The next round, round 10, is between Humbi and Alexandra. So with two rounds to go, that game becomes very important to decide the winner of the Grand Prix. And that will in turn lead to qualification to the world candidates, world championship candidates. Let us have a look at how Humbi has been performing in the Grand Prix. Let's have a look at her round 9 game, which she played against Elizabeth Bates from Germany. So Humbi played d4, Elizabeth replied knight f6, c4, and now we have the king's Indian defense. Knight c3, bishop g7, and e4. White takes the center. d6, bishop e2, bishop e3, d5, e6, and knight f3. So white just goes for the classical approach against the king's Indian. Takes, takes, and b5, e5. Striking at the center, takes, and bishop takes c5. So white has destroyed black sender and there is a pass pawn already on the d-file, even though isolated. Rook e8, defending the e-pawn. And now bishop takes b5. So it's basically a pawn sacrifice. White is up by a pawn right now, six pawns, and black has got five. So what black is counting on is the compensation that the white king is still in the sender and this e-pawn can advance forward and the d5 pawn is weak. But black also has the bishop pair, just like white also has a bishop pair, just like black. And this is a dubious opening choice by black. Knight d7, bishop comes back. Knight g4 and castles. Takes, takes. And rook b8. King h1. a6 and bishop c6. She doesn't go for rook takes b2. Rook takes b2, queen c1 is possible. In which case, uh, material would be equal, but white's pieces would be active. And it should be a good position for white. So she goes with e4 first, knight d2. And again, rook d2, rook d2 wouldn't be great because knight e4. You st you're still up a pawn. But it was still possible. Elizabeth goes for pawn f5. Going for some counterplay with f4. Knight c4 and rook f8. d6. So the problem for black is by the time any counterplay happens here with the moves like knight f6, knight g4, queen h4, white would have crashed through on the queen side. And that's exactly what happened. Let's see how smoothly Corneru Humbi converts this. She plays d6, preparing the queen to come in or the bishop to come in or even the knight, keeping all the options open. King h8 and now rook c1. Knight f6, pawn b3. The pressure on the b file is gone. Bishop e6, knight d5. Takes, takes, and rook b5. This was a critical mistake. Instead of this, she should have first played queen d7. Because rook b5 allows bishop e6 or bishop c6. The bishop stays. It's just a loss of tempo. But wait, rook attacks the bishop, but bishop goes to a4. And helps the pawn forward. So with queen d7 and then rook b5, this wouldn't have happened. Now knight g4 came in. Queen d2. Ambi decides to defend with just g, a g3, defending the threat, the only threat on the king side. And all the trumps are with white, the pass pawn, the extra majority here, one pawn extra basically. Queen h5, and now just rook c2, defending h2 more, overprotecting it, so that the queen is free to move. Rook d8, and now just b4. Here, instead of rook d8, it was important to come back with the pieces. Because there's nothing happening here. It was more important to deal with the problems here. But she plays rook d8, allowing b4. And now rook is forced to go back. Again, one more tempo. d7. And rook is going to, forced to go to uh, c7. And now comes knight d6. Threatening knight f7. So rook takes rook. Queen takes back. And now again knight f7 is a threat. So which is why knight has to come and defend it. So knight e5. And now after the next move, knight b7, the position is just gone. It's a full extra rook. If rook takes d7, there is queen c8. If knight d7, just knight takes rook. It's just all over. So here Elizabeth played rook f8. And after d8, queen takes takes. She resigned as white is just up by a full rook. 
So what a smooth conversion, a smooth win for Corneru Humbi, which is taking her to just one point difference with the tournament leader Alexander Kostinyuk, making the next game all the more interesting.